Hello viewers, how are you? Hope you will be fine. We are back with another video, another type of cooling tower which is named as evaporative cooling tower. Cooling towers are being widely used in the industries for the removal of unwanted heat from one's factories. After removal of the unwanted heat, the machines work more efficiently because of the good working environment. Cooling is provided via evaporative cooling towers based on a planned dew point temperature. Evaporative cooling towers generally chill water to around 85 Fahrenheit, although they may cool to as low as 65 Fahrenheit. They are the most cost effective method of cooling huge volumes of water. The method of eliminating hot air from a medium by evaporating water is known as evaporative cooling. Latent heat is required to raise the temperature of that water. The surface temperature drops as the heat transfers from the surface to the water. Now moving towards the working condition of the evaporative cooling system or cooling tower. The transmission and evaporation of temperature differences are important in cooling systems operation. To eliminate latent heat of vaporization, the air and water are combined at different temperatures, resulting in reducing and cooling impact on the heated water. To obtain the cooling effect, a part of water is converted to the vapor state and the hot gas evaporation is discharged into the environment. Hot water from production plant is pushed to the top of the chamber of the cooling tower where the water distribution system is located for evaporative cooling. The water is subsequently delivered to the moist deck through the cooling tower outlets. The heat in the water is eliminated through evaporation. The third one is the classification of cooling towers. There are many types of cooling towers available, but the choosing the right one is difficult cooling towers from tower tech and these are the best ones available in the market. According to the types of draft cooling towers can be classified into natural draft cooling tower and mechanical draft cooling towers. In natural draft cooling towers, it is a direct contact device that is open to the air. It uses a radiator to allow hot water from the plant to be cooled by coming into direct contact with the natural air at the top of the tower. Heated air rises while the cold water accumulates at the bottom. This technique has simple construction, but it has a significant initial investment because of considerable height required to produce the draft. Mechanical draft is the second one type. In a mechanical draft cooling tower or cooling structure, the air supply can be adjusted by using a fan and supplying the air in different types of directions so that hot water gets cooled easily. Easy installation, cheap capital expenditure, low pumping head, tight control over water temperature are the characteristics of the mechanical draft cooling tower. The different direction of air will be discussed now. The first one is counter flow where the water and air supply are in the different directions. And the second one is parallel flow where the water and air flow are in the same direction. The third one and the last one is cross flow. In cross flow, the water drips across the air chamber in an induced draft cooling tower. The fan creates parallel air flow. So viewers, it was all about evaporative cooling tower. For more informative content, please do subscribe the channel.